all times, whether at times of prosperity or disaster, the human being or the humanity as a whole possess an instrument which can face any kind of challenge. That is our mind. Unfortunately, when human mind is full of greed, leading to hatred, leading to total ignorance, then of course what happens is there will be problems like the present problem of the coronavirus. Coronavirus should be an eye-opener to all of us because in the past there were conflicts within the country. One political group fighting another political group. One kind of economic interest fighting another economic interest. One religion fighting another religion. One race, one caste like that. Now, we devised all kinds of ways to face these challenges. But all those were not based on spiritual values. All of them were based on materialistic values. Science and technology were used not to promote the well-being of all, but to promote the well-being of a group of people who could control that knowledge of science and technology and have all those instruments that are necessary to use them. These are wrong. The whole world must be reminded today that one supreme thought should guide all of us, all human beings. What is that supreme thought? Supreme thought of having boundless compassion for human race, other forms of living animals and nature. That is the number one thing. Number two, the science and technology, the knowledge we have acquired for the well-being of all and not for the aggrandizement of a few people in their wealth. Thirdly, all these financial institutions, the World Trade Organization and all the other organizations, we ashamed that they could not eliminate poverty from the world. They are responsible for the existing poverty because of this pandemic, but the poorest of the poor people are now appearing and telling us how difficult their life is. So it's a time when we can see absolute poverty in our countries, including the Americans. Therefore, they have to rethink, reorganize their institutions for a different kind of international economy. Today they say world is one village. That is all nonsense. This is not one village. This is one village for those who want to exploit the world. But for the ordinary poor man, who hasn't got one meal a day, you can't call it one world. No, it's not one world, it's a different world for them. I appeal to the Sato Day workers in my country and all over the world at this time to promote these three ideas. Number one, let us work for the well-being of all living things, humans, animals, nature. Otherwise, we will not survive. Second, the science and technological progress, the knowledge we have acquired, stop using them for the well-being of a few people for their political or economic gain. Let us use this knowledge to eradicate poverty, eradicate hunger, eradicate illnesses. Now we have got this, but there are so many other illnesses from which people die every day. Use them and don't wait till the entire world becomes rich. That will not happen because only few people have acquired most of the wealth in the world. Lastly, let every human being in the world be satisfied with basic human needs so that the world resources will not be wasted just to satisfy the fine senses. When people can survive like that with their basic requirements, then their time can be used for spiritual purposes. What is a spiritual purpose? Coronavirus may cause hundreds or even millions of people to die. We believe, I, as a Buddhist and I know most of the people, believe that we are a part of cycle of births and deaths. This cycle of births and deaths, we are born, we die, we are born again. We have, we have been going on and on and on for millions and billions of years through a process of evolution and a process of evolution. We have to put an end to this. To put an end to death, you have to put an end to being born. To put an end to being born, you have to put an end to craving. 
craving for power, craving for honor, craving for money, craving for material things. This craving should come to a stop, what we call moha, ignorance. Therefore, the educated people in the world now should know that even if we survive the corona, one day we have to die. Therefore, we have to find a solution to this ultimate truth, how to stop dying, how to stop being born. That is spirituality. That is what Buddha taught us, put an end to the cycle of births and deaths. The only process is by eliminating greed, ill will and ignorance. And he showed us the path, what is called a Noble Eightfold Path, where you have right understanding, where you have right thoughts, where you have right language, where you have right effort, you have right livelihood, you have right strivance, you have right concentration, mindfulness and right enlightenment. So the Noble Eightfold Path is the one to which we have to concentrate. I'm sure all our minds put together without any kind of partiality, any kind of sectarianism, we can overcome this virus. While strictly following the advice given by the World Health Organization and the governments, people like us, to ordinary citizens, while following all those rules and regulations, restrictions they are imposed on us, let us at the same time strengthen ourselves spiritually so that finally an answer lies in the spiritual field and not in the material field. Thank you very much. All the blessings of the Tricolor Gem to you.